What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here and welcome back to another Spawn PK video. It has been a little while since my last one and today I have something very special in store for you guys. This is not going to be another box test opening type of video or whatever you might have in your mind. Well, let's be honest, you guys have already read the title, you know exactly what we're going to be doing. Covering the new weapon from the last update on Spawn PK. We'll get to that in just a second. First we have a juicy juicy $100 bond giveaway for you guys. If you want to enter that giveaway all you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below and turn on the post notifications. If you've done all that you enter the giveaway, I wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to Spawn PK and want to try out the game for yourself please do use the link at the top of the description. And last but not least make sure you join the Spawn PK Discord and my private Discord links in the description as well. I have a pretty, pretty juicy setup made for this one and I'm very curious to see how it will work out. We're going to be using full void with the new helm, the new bow, we're going to be using a deflector so we can use it with our enchanted gloves, both of those in one for the double bolt potential specs. I'm going to be using a berserker phoenix pet for the highest possible hits and of course I'm going to be using a cursed orb because obviously I am not sculling in this, I can't afford to lose either the helm or the ballista and all of that bit too much, I also don't want to get smited for the crossbow as you might understand. I don't want to see the max potential hit so I would rather use the Berserker Phoenix than like a Shade Genie or something. To compensate for that we'll start off using a 50 bill orb. If dying happens a bit too regularly we'll switch to a 10 bill orb or something but we'll give it a go with this first and let's jump right into it to see how it goes. I do have to say I'm a little, little bit nervous, I haven't PK'd on Spawn PK in quite a while as you guys might know. I do have some very juicy switches with me, but first before we jump right into the weldy, let's see what kind of hits we can expect with this bad boy. Oh look at that speed, that's a hunter crossbow speed right there, it has its own special attack. Those are the double hits, we can hit a 54 with this, look at this speed though. I'm 100% sure it's like super strong in the pure area, not entirely sure how it will work out in regular old Edgeville as a main PKer, but we're gonna find out soon. I have a heavy ballista switch, a dark bow switch for the spec. Let's just fucking do this. Oh wow, they made it so you have to be scold in order to participate in Cursed PH, which is kinda ass in my opinion. He's going straight away for the granite mace spec. Interesting choice. I really didn't realize you needed to be scold in order to use that, that kinda sucks. I think we'll grab a Tendal Orb instead of this one. I feel like this is a bit too much of a waste right now. If I don't gain anything from it. Now, let's start focusing on the fight and actually do something here. We did start off quite strong on the combos, but my defense is so weak. Kind of compensate for all of that. Let's just go for a random ass spec. See what we can hit. Nice little 52. Not quite high enough. I don't want to give you the Orb, man. It's a quite expensive one. Look at that speed though, I think that kills him. Good fight. Beautiful dude. Absolutely beautiful, I'm kind of surprised by all of that. But I'm gonna switch to the 10 bell orb because fuck that. Not too bad for a first fight but I definitely have to pay a little bit more attention if I want this to go well. It just doesn't have a lot of KO potential in and of its own, the crossbow I mean. But it's the fact that it's so quick, like right there. Almost near instantly into all of that and then for the good fight beautiful oh he was out that makes it a little less impressive for me guess he really wants to fight me then see what we can do yeah okay two hits me like five seconds in nice one man thanks cool let's go try that again all right pvp all day over here they recently made some changes to void as well which makes the defense quite a lot lower, but holy shit, we are hitting just fine. If it wasn't for that one death where the guy literally fucking three hit rushed us. Ignoring that one, it is going pretty well. I don't really care about dying, even if we die like a million times for all these orbs. It's fine, I'm only risking the 10 bill because otherwise no one would fight me on scold. And I have to live with that. This bow so far is pretty fucking impressive, I really love how- look at those hits dude. Solid 30 straight in a row, quick as fuck into a 69 Debo. He did manage to out eat it, Debo does have that, that little delay on its spec before the hits actually land. With, whoa, look at that HP though. Interesting, didn't expect that honestly. 
but uh, it's really, really good so far. 38 again. Going for the Malevolent Axe. Yeah, he one-hit me right there with the Vengeance. Not much I could do to counter that one. Oh, we have someone that wants to fight. I was about to skip him. I didn't think he would skull up in all of that gear. <laughs> now I die on YouTube. Let's uh, see what happens first, man. My low defense is like game-breakingly weak right now. But hey, you have to sacrifice something in order to be offensively strong. It's a glass cannon. You hit hard, but you get hit hard. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that speed, man. Ballista is where it's at, dude. Maybe I should... Ooh, nice little loot. Full Festus, including the VLS. Pretty decent. Maybe I should just get rid of the Dargo altogether. I feel like this combo is going to be the strongest part of it all. The fact that you hit so incredibly quick into a quick shot. Let's uh, focus on that a little more. Maybe we'll uh, switch to some tank gear later on as well. But I did want to try out the Void first, mainly due to the fact that... Uh, you know, Void has recently been buffed and I wanted to see how it would perform overall with the Void. Mr. APR, good luck to you, man. I fucking ate. Hello? Didn't think that wouldn't go through. Maybe I misclicked. <laughs> oh, we have another one. Good luck to him. I am very, very tempted to switch to some tank gear just to... And sure, people not hitting me so consistently hard as they are right now. Allows me to have a bit more wiggle room in what I'm doing as well. Oh, I love the little stall that this bow gives, you know? How you can walk and then it just does that little dragging thing. Look at those hits though, 37. Ah, into the zero, that sucks. We need a little bit higher hits. Oh, we had a 30 on the fence. Let's eat right there. Oh, fuck, Karasi. Didn't expect that spec right there. Oh, double? Really? Okay. Interesting choice. Didn't think this guy would have a fig hour, honestly. Oh, he died to a crossbow, okay. Well then, that's a thing. He had plenty of food left, I don't know how he died to that. I do have to say, PKing with this is a lot of fun, at the very, very least. Holy shit, we had a 49 right there. That's a beautiful hit. 49 with this fucking bow. Let's not die to that. Little double spec right there. Then the little fives following up. 28. By eating, mate. Can't believe we're surviving so long on the bruise. Oh, with the vengeance, good fight, man. 5 HP. Way too close. <laughs> Got him nonetheless. I am surprised by how well this is going. I have made a few oopsies here and there, but besides that, I was expecting to die a lot quicker and a lot more often in Void. Let's try to keep it going. Food fetish. Yes, he 100% wants to fight me. Good luck. Let's see some work, crossbow. No, I don't. Yeah, that's what no means. Good fight, though. That was a little predictable, man. And that got him. Good fight. <laughs> Didn't actually think I would kill. Because he had plenty of time to eat right there. Good fight nonetheless, a nice little double kill. Gmol is plenty of deadly when you are in Void. I could go for a big spec. 61, is that gonna cut it? Yes it is, good fight. Beautiful. Man, I missed this. Alright, Mr. Jamaica again. Time to get two hit. Once more. Yeah, well, what did I say? I'm just gonna stop fighting him altogether. Oh, that's a beautiful 34. Into a 42 Ballista, that's not quite high enough. Where are you going? Oh, is that it? Good fight. It's a, a risky one, but it managed to pay off. Beautiful. Good luck, Term Swag. A new guy we haven't fought yet. He also disabled my pet. That is pretty shitty. Meaning I don't have my full range potential right now. For 13 more seconds. Gotta love how fast it is, but the delay on range because you have to shoot a projectile and it takes a little while before it hits. That's like the annoying part, but it still manages to get kills nonetheless. As long as you're quick enough and you catch him off guard, you'll get him. That's beautiful, man. Absolutely lovely. 
Let's see if we can go for two and one again. I have plenty of food left. There was almost no loot in that. We could dare hit a 70. Yeah, good fight, man. Good fight. Not exactly the type of KO I like to see, though. Oh, Bans wants to fight us. Good luck, sir. Let's get ourselves another juicy DH that I love the fact that it's this bold uh, Phantoms. I'm pretty sure it does it because I have nothing else that could potentially do it. But it has to be the bolt itself. Oh, look at that speed right there. Not quite fast enough, but still extremely strong. Maybe we should try a melee switch after this. Just to give it a go, you know? Switch into like, I don't know, AGS or something with Void Melee Helm. See what we can do with that, because this thing is so fucking fast. Gotta make the most out of it, you know? That risk though, didn't pay off. Good thing I didn't die. Should be happy about that alone. This DH after all. We all know my standpoint on DH. Before, 35. Look at those combos, dude. And ah, the zero again. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try some melee after this, just for the switch up. See what kind of crazy things we can pull off with that. Another two ballista, that sucks. Come on, do something a little higher than that. Oh, okay, sure. 78 on the Vengeance, doesn't kill himself because he teleports away. Let's try some melee. Alright, my gut feeling is telling me this is gonna work out pretty fucking well. As long as we can manage to pull off the hits in time. I decided to go with the Gmol switch because I want to make the most use out of the speed that this crossbow actually offers. And if I have to switch into a spec weapon, you'd lose like a few ticks trying to get that spec off since this one doesn't have a spec bar. If I could one tick into spec with this crossbow, I would be willing to do so. Use like a BGS, AGS, whatever the fuck. Everything works just fine. Wow, he died to a bot. Um, then it would be one thing, but the fact that I can't is a bit of a nope for me. I really don't want to fight you. Okay, the previous fight wasn't all that bad, but it didn't go quite as we planned. So we're gonna have to try it a little bit harder this time around. Let's see who wants to be that person. Matroses, good luck. Yes, he does, good luck. We're starting off with a 36 on the Vengeance, that's not good at all, and he kills himself on my Vengeance. Not very smart, man. Gonna have to watch out for that as well. Oh, there's a 37. <laughs> Deadly, dude, a hundred stack. Beautiful. That's what you like to see. So quick as well. Alright, we have another one. Good luck, Festa Kills. Let's see some more amazing 100 stacks like we just did. I love seeing that. The whole prayer switching is a little annoying, but something you gotta sacrifice when you use a switch like this. Come on, big bolt. 25. Into the 64. Jesus fucking Christ. Now I feel like we're properly making use of the speed. The ballista was nice. But now it properly stacks on top of each other. And that's the big fucking difference. We have Mr. Regret again. Just had a little fight with him but deleted the clip because we got PJ mid battle which was pretty fucking ass. What? A 60 poke regularly? Yikes. Well then that one didn't go as expected. I could have sworn I would have tanked a 60 for fuck's sake. Interesting. It's not as high as you would expect, but it's high enough to do some serious damage. Oh, whoop, no. <laughs> Dead. I just said it in touch out of out of sheer surprise that I actually killed him right there. Alright, next one. Good luck to you. Now let's get a 30 plus bolt. 23, that's good enough for me. Hmm. Every once in a while it delays a little bit. 24, uh, boom. Dead. Good game, man. Good game indeed. I would love to try out the crossbow at pure, but as you can see, not a whole lot of pure PKing happening nowadays. If you guys would like to see a future pure PKing video with this crossbow, if you're curious to see how it performs overall over there, let me know in the comments down below and I'll keep an eye out for when it's pure hotspot and then make it happen. Let me know in the comments, boys. Alright, we have Mr. Hedex on us, good luck to you. Not quite sure why you felt the need to drain my stats right there. Oh, he's eating. Okay, I can't even eat apparently. 
God, I love it when that happens, dude. Absolutely love it. Oh no! I'm finally running out of void deflectors. Oh, saddening. How much blood money do I have left? Bolts are going down quite fast as well, I have to say. Let's buy some more. Maybe a few gloves. Hadex was actually kind enough to give me my shit back. So, shout out to him for that. What a nice guy. And good fight. Nice little risk on my side. Just barely managed to get it in though. Hit that 30, there we go. Good fight. Beautiful. Alright, let's go for the 2 and 1. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. I didn't even have food. I wish my dumbass was smart enough to, you know, leave the fight once I'm out, but... I'm stubborn as fuck. I like to get those unexpected kills, you know? I'm already dead, never mind. Cool, nice man. Awesome, I love getting specs three seconds into the fight by a GMO. Yeah, wow, what they do! Alright, slight change of plans, let's try it out with a little bit of tank before we end it off. Man, I'm just such a target for rushing. Like everyone just straight up comes at me with intentions of rushing, specking me five seconds into the fight and all of that shit, so not much point into those kind of fights. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some tank and see how that changes things up instead. We do keep our Karazi body and all of that, so no issues there. <sighs> the damage I was taking, but also the damage I was doing. 31. What the fuck are these zeros, dude? There you go, fucking Gmo. Ref, dude. Oh, people that use ref. Mm, fuck. When you use gear like this, it might be better to have something like a Vorkath or a Solar Calf pad, because it ignores any ranged defense and stuff. But then again, we are also using a melee switch, so it's hard to say. Milo, wanna good luck? Well, let's find out. And good fight. Damn, that was way too close. Shouldn't even have survived that. Should be dead. Good fight. Finally. It finally worked the way I had it in my mind. 3 DH sets in our inventory as well. Isn't that a nice sight to behold? Yeah, I don't have room for a fourth one. Sorry. Right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a one more fight and then call it a day. It's been fun, but it's also uh, slightly frustrating. Crossbow overall isn't a disappointment. I'm quite happy with what I've been seeing. That's a 56 right there. What the... What? What? How did that just happen? How do we just literally like... I mean, I hit a zero at the start, but other than that, I basically two hit him. What the fuck was that? Well, if that's not a great clip to end it on, then I don't know what is. Wait, I can hit 38 in this? That's wild. How can I hit higher in this than I, I was hitting in Void? I am so confused. Is it the cur Cursed Karazi? Really, does Cursed Karazi boost it more than full Void? Karazi. Does this change it into a 38? Or 39? No, it changes it into a 40... 41. What can we hit when the double thing triggers? Let's check that out real quick. Make sure we're fully potted. You can hit 41 in full cursed. A 60. He's 60 with something that hits at like dragon knife speed. I mean, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. One after another. That is fucking crazy. And then you can just bloop straight into the Borak Axe. Stacks up beautifully. You can hit a 4171 or even a 6071. That's fucking crazy, man. Jesus, maybe we should try that next time. If you want to see this crossbow make a return, whether it's a pure zone, main PK, let me know. I feel like we have just touched like upon the surface of what this crossbow can actually do. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and we'll make something happen in the next one. I'll see you all then. Metal Raymond.